Hello students, today we will see one of the most simple curve that is parabola by rectangle method. So especially during the exam it is going to be one of the easiest curve and for that what information we will be having base here we have taken 120 and axis 80. Once we are having this information then how to solve this example please see it. So anyway base is there so what you do so for the base on lower side base is going to be on lower side draw a light horizontal line draw a light horizontal line then similarly one vertical line you draw randomly without thinking without thinking and this intersection is going to be so it is going to be o it is going to be o and then after that what we have to do once we mark this O, then after that on this mark the base. Base is going to be 60, 60. Means it is 60 and it is 60. Similarly, and immediately from this base, draw immediately the vertical lines. It is always better. It is vertical line and it is vertical line. Then you can mark the axis from O, it is 80. And once we mark 80, we are supposed to mark this horizontal line. Means by doing this, what we'll get? We'll get the rectangle oblong correct so it is going to be 120 and it is going to be 80 then let us consider that it is base ab and axis oc axis oc and again you can give some name so it's uh, choice is yours. M, N. And now, what we have to do? This AO and AM or OB and BN, we have to divide into equal number of parts. Equal number of parts means what? See, <coughs> as per the AB is concerned. For AB is concerned, what I'll do? Equal number of parts means four parts, four parts. So, it is 15, it's 15, it's 15, like this. Similarly, 15, then 15, 15, like this. And on this side also, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and it's 20. So, like this, we have to make the division. Similarly, on this side also, it's required 20, 20, 20. So, this is the procedure for drawing very fastly. For drawing very fastly. Then, after making these four equal divisions, four equal divisions. So, what I'll suggest, you give the names. So, it's 1, 2, 3. Similarly, it is 1, 2, 3 from b also it's 1 this naming is very important 2 3 it's 1 2 3 correct then for getting the points on the parabola what we have to do draw the vertical lines from this points on the base and join all these points to c from the vertical lines then how we can do it very light lines so those will be from 1 this is the vertical line then 2 its vertical line 3 its vertical line similarly 1 2 and 3. 
Correct. Now what we have to do? So from this points on the vertical lines, we have to join uh, the point C. Then for that, what will be there? From 1, from 1, I will join C. I will join C, 1 to C. Similarly, from 2, again C, then from 3, again C, correct. Then I will join, now in this manner, from C, I will join 3, 2 or from 3 you can join C, 1 and 7. So it will be more easier from one point rotating other points without changing it. Correct. Now <coughs> we'll get the points on the parabola and how we'll get these points on the parabola so they are going to be one vertical line one slant line their intersection is p1 then it's p2 it's p3 again it's p3 it's p2 it's p1 and it's b a and c already these points are on the parabola and we have to draw the smooth curve passing through these points then instead of using instead of using the french curve use neatly the prehand curve or draw the confidently prehand curve now see it when we are drawing all these points must be in our eyesight so that is what the requirement now observe it very carefully how i am drawing this curve i'll start from a This is what the parabolic curve passing through all these points. With the help of pencil, you will get very smooth curve. Again, this is the digital board. It is creating the problem. But like this, you have to draw the curve. And later on, if you are having the time, you can give the names. It's P1. It's P2. It's P3. Again, it's P3. It's P2. It's P1. A, B means this is the parabolic curve and at the end don't miss the dimensioning so what we have to do how to give the dimensions for the dimensioning use like this this vertical line and this so here we can give the dimension and another dimension we can make it horizontally but for that so it is from this point to this it is very very important giving the proper dimensioning this base is ab so you have to mention in the solution that it is 120 and so in the drawing dimensioning is very important it is 80 like this and this is the parabola by rectangle method and uh, i feel you will like this video thank you